client server processes using mail server and mail client. Email, the most popular network surface. An email requires several applications and surfaces. Two example application layer protocols are Post Office Protocol, POP, and Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP. Shown in the figure as with HTTP, these protocols define client and server processes. When people compose email messages, they typically use an application called a mail user agent, MUA or email client. The mail user agent allows messages to be sent and places received messages into the client's mailbox, both of which are distinct processes. The mail user agent, example like Microsoft Outlook or Thunderbird. In order to receive email messages from an email server, the email client can use POP. Sending email from either a client or a server uses a message formats and command strings defined by the SMTP protocol. For the mail server, I'll be using HTML server and for a mail user agent, I'll use Thunderbird. HTML server HTML server is a free, open source email server for Microsoft Windows. It supports the common email protocols IMAP, SMTP, and POP3 and can easily be integrated with many existing web mail systems. Any web mail system which supports IMAP and SMTP can be used with HTML server like Roundcube and Squirrel Mail. For the practical, I'll use one server which is going to be the mail server and I'll install the HTML server. Within this server, I'll add two domains, the gmail.com and yahoo.com. To resolve the names, I'll use hostess file to translate server names to an IP addresses. I'll use Thunderbird as my email agent, MUA. For the web mail system, I'll use Squirrel Mail. Open your internet browser and type HTML server. Click on the first link. Click on download tab. Download the latest version for HTML server. Show all downloads. Show and folder. Run the setup file for HTML server. Run. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. 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 Use external database engine. My SQL. Next. Next. Enter a password. With this password, you will have administration rights to be able to manage your HTML server. Next. Click on Install. Enter your administration password for HTML server. Click on OK. HTML server database setup. Click on Next. Create a new HTML server database. Next. MySQL database. Next. The database server address. It is the loopback address 127.0.0.1. And for the database name, any name for your HTML server database, I just call it HTML server DB. For the authentication, my username root, and there is no password to log in into my SQL database. Click on next. HTML server 
depend on MySQL database service. Next. Next. The MySQL client needs to be manually copied to the HTML server binary directory. So, I have to copy MySQL library to this path. Copy the library for MySQL client from this path to this path. Now click on next. Click on close. Click on finish and the HTML server will start. Connect to the host, local host. Enter the password. Click on Domains, click on Add. Enter the name for the domain, gmail.com. Click on Save. Create another domain for yahoo.com. Now I have two domains. I'll create one user account for each domain. Fill out the information for this user and click on save. I'm done with HTML server. Now I'll download mail user agent Thunderbird. Type Thunderbird. Click on Mozilla Thunderbird. Click on the Thunderbird download button. Download started. Now download for the Thunderbird completed. Before installing it, I have to set up the DNS file to resolve that mean translate names to an IP addresses. Search for CMD, command prompt, and open it as an administrator. Now, navigate to drivers and etc. Open the hosts file with notepad. Add another record for Yahoo servers, IMAP, and SMTP. Save and close. Now install Thunderbird.
Next. Next. Click on Install. Click on Finish. Set as default mail user agent. Skip this and use my existing email. Enter the username safa.ala at gmail.com. Click on continue. Click on manual config. Set the IMAP server with port 143 and SMTP with port 25. Click on retest. Click on done. Click on I understand the risks. Click on done. Now the mail user agent connected to HML server successfully. I'll download webmail system squirrel mail. Click on squirrelmail.org. Click on download. Download the stable version with ZIP format. After downloading the package, extract it. Copy the extracted package to the WAM server root folder www. and rename it whatever you want. Make sure to run WAMP server. And navigate to localhost. Click on squirrel hyphen webmail you have to add localhost slash squirrel hyphen webmail config file not found go to config folder rename config underscore default.php to config.php reload the web page and now, Squirrel webmail working but uh, not configured to connect to the HTML server. Go back to config.php. Open it. Change the domain variable to yahoo.com. And change the SMTP server address to smtp.yahoo.com. Change IMAP server address to imap.yahoo.com
it's very important to change IMAP server type to HTML server. Also, correct the path for data directory. Correct the path for attachment directory as well. These are the important settings you have to change. Save and close. Now, log in to Yahoo Mail Server with John.Smith user account. I'll test both accounts to send an email from Yahoo user account to Gmail user account. The message sent and received successfully. Now send an email from Gmail user account to Yahoo user account. Message received. This is it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next season.